we got the call late afternoon that there was a hiker trapped under a large boulder out on Hinterbrook Island. Uh, we went out in the helicopter and uh, winched uh, down on the wire cable with our equipment and uh, indeed found this fellow who was in, in trouble. I guess you don't go hiking anymore. No, that's not entirely true. Please welcome Warren McDonald. I want to share this with you because when this hit me, and it did hit me, it blew me away, and it might you too. And that's this, that going through life without legs is not that big a deal, right? It's actually not even that hard, right? There were lots of things that I couldn't do anymore, but I could still swim, and I figured that is the best way for me to now stay in shape and get, and get strong. It's my first step, if you like, to moving through this thing that's happened and try and reclaim part of my life. Now, the pier to pub is an ocean race that I'd swum 10 years before. I hit the shallow water and I basically crawl on my stomach until I hit the sand and I flip up onto my butt and I start scooting on my butt up the sand towards the finish line. Got to tell you, I'll never, ever forget the looks on the faces especially of those kids, as I came up the beach that day towards the finish line, because I'll pretty much guarantee you, some of them never swum in the ocean since. Right. <laughs> you know how we often use this statement or we see this statement, what you see is what you get. Ah, it's what you see is what you get, right? Doesn't cut it for me. It's not what you see. It's how you see is what you get. It's how you see that determines your reality. It's how you see that determines your results. Change, for me, is something that, that happens action by action. Now, the, the beauty is, is that we can all do that, right? I've, I've had lots of people say to me, I don't know how you got through that. I don't think I could. I don't even know how you got through the, the, the two days of being trapped. I couldn't do that. And I have to stop them and say, what are you talking about? What do you think you were going to do? What would you have done? Strangled yourself? Held your breath? Or of course you would have handled it. You had to. You would have had to get, get through it. But we can put ourselves in, in way better stead, in a way better position to, to handle those things that come at us if we've got some kind of experience in, in meeting challenges in, in the first place and having that forti fortitude and resilience. We're, all of us are on this planet to create something. It's really what it's about. It's like we're here, show us what you've got. And I want you to have a think about that. That if a guy like me can go from here, to here, then what does that mean for you? Thank you. Wow.